1 to 10, I would rate this at about um, an 8 and a half. Um, I really enjoyed myself uh, tonight. I love how they took the show and um, updated it for 2019, just to make it a little bit more current. Um, so audiences who might not have grown up with the movie, um, who might be coming to it fresh, would be able to relate to it. Um, I really love what they did with the sets uh, in this show. Primarily, the sets are designed through uh, screens and projections. Now, usually I'm semi-against that. I like actual set pieces to, you know, look at. I think they look better than actual computer screens, you know, that just change their background. But for this, the um, because it changes location so often and so quickly, I felt the use of the computer um, set screens, designs, backgrounds, whatever, I think it really helped to keep the pace of it going very, very quickly and briskly. I thought it, I thought the show moved along very, very well. Um, the book... Um, of the stage adaptation was written by Tina Fey, and you can tell if you're familiar with Tina Fey's work, not just from Mean Girls, but from 30, Wa Blech, from 30 Rock or The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, you kind of get a sense of her sense of humor, and um, her sense of humor is all over all over this show, and uh, I, I really, really like that. It was, um, you know a movie reaches legendary status when the lines from that movie are still quoted today, and they are, and it was, I love the reaction that when a line from the movie was said, one of the more famous lines from the movie, the audience would applaud, and uh, I thought that was interesting. I never... I never have been to a show where they, uh, where they did that before. What I, one of the things I also loved is that it's a contemporary musical with a contemporary score, but they um, incorporated elements of classical musical theater, most um, notably with, there was a lot of tap dancing in this show, and I was shocked because that type of, you don't see that type of dancing anymore. It's, you know, that type of tap, tap, tap dancing. You see it in shows from the golden age of Broadway, but with new musicals, it's more modern styles of dance. And I love, to me, it was really seamless, the intrigation, intrigation of um, a contemporary score with contemporary songs and with... Um, classical elements, and I like, I really like that I did that, and once again, I think that probably has a lot to do with Tina Fey. She's, um, I know a lot about her, and I know that she's, she, her background is in the theater, so I'm sure that, um, she had, um, a lot to do with this, it, do, a lot to do with that. It was interesting. Um, I went into it not knowing how I was going to feel about it, because when a movie becomes so, um, iconic or legendary, it's hard to picture other actors saying, playing the characters or saying the lines that you so become accustomed to hearing them done in these characters performed a certain way, but I did not feel that way with it, with this musical at all, because like I said, it's Mean Girls, it's the same story that first came out in 2004, but they really updated, so it was, it's the same story, but it almost felt like a fresh piece to me, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was, I knew, you know, I came in knowing what was going to happen, but I also found myself being very surprised because of the updating that they did to the story, and I really like that. Uh, anyway, as I said, eight and a half, go. If you want to have a good time at the theater, you will not regret it. It's really fun. Um, it is playing here in Cleveland for um, about another week, so head over to Playhouse Square's website. Uh, I think tickets are still available, so check it out.